shock and outrage. Those are the words being used after tear gas was used to remove peaceful protesters from Washington's Lafayette Park. Moments later, President Trump walked through that park to a nearby historic church for a photo op. It was the beginning of a night of chaos and confusion in our nation's capital. The president's Bible photo op may be backfiring today as we're learning troubling details of how it was orchestrated. The first hint that something was happening came at 6.30 p.m. when D.C. Park police started clearing protesters from the park behind the White House. Oh, hell broke loose. Park Police, Secret Service, they begin to advance on the group of demonstrators. Shoving and hitting, striking this Australian news crew as they were live on the air. Oh, whoa. We caught up with that Australian reporter, Amelia Brace, today. All of a sudden, uh, this line of police just really charged forward and there was really no opportunity for anyone to get out of the way. There was no time uh, and even the people who were running and actively trying to get out of the way were, uh, were uh, getting hit by tear gas or rubber bullets. While this was going on, the president took the podium in the Rose Garden. As he spoke, you can hear the sounds of tear gas canisters popping off in the background. We must never give in to anger or hatred. At 7.01 p.m., the reason for the police sweep became clear. The president strode out of the White House through the now empty park, flanked by Secret Service, his staff in tow. He made his way to the historic St. John's Episcopal Church. There, he posed with a Bible, holding it aloft in one hand, his expression grim. Then his staff joined him. The photo op was hatched by top advisor Hope Hicks, according to the New York Times. Sources close to the president tell us that he's worried about his support in the evangelical community. He believes it may be slipping as a result of the coronavirus. The Bishop of St. John's was appalled. He did not consult us. He did not warn us. So it was an abuse of the spiritual tools and symbols of our tradition and of our sacred space. As Trump strode back to the White House. But to keep it nice and safe. The reaction on cable news was split. Good for him. That provided a powerful symbolic gesture. We saw peaceful protesters being gassed so the president could take a stroll. As night fell, low-flying helicopters were deployed to disperse the protesters, the noise and powerful downdrafts sending them scattering. Today, the president visited another religious landmark with First Lady Melania, claiming victory. Many arrests, he tweeted, Great job done by all. Overwhelming force. Domination. Thank you, President Trump.